What's up, everybody? This is Jay, and this video is about what to expect for Power Book 2, Episode 3. Now, I'm going to give you my thoughts and what to expect on this next episode based off of what we saw in the trailer for Power Episode 3. Now, a lot of stuff happened in the trailer. It wasn't that long, and they flashed a lot of stuff in front of our face. But what it first started off was Davis saying, it's not the truth that we're looking for is what we can sell to a jury so he's trying to craft a story together to help get tasha out of jail and make her look sympathetic to the jury so that she doesn't get such a big sentence or maybe get left out and that's part of what he was trying to get Tariq to do uh by down talking his daddy when he went to the funeral but Tariq didn't necessarily do that and so when he was telling Tasha that Tasha's response was well put me on the stand as if she's going to be so convincing and have enough to say when she's the one that's on trial for murder I don't know how she's going to talk her way out of why she had to kill him was she going to say she was beat or she didn't have any options and I guess they're going to try to paint a picture that he murdered a lot of people and that she would have came up missing had she not have done that we'll see but that's what I'm thinking that that's leading to and then we got Davis assistant lawyer and she's been right on the money saying that she ain't been straight with them from the beginning and we saw in episode two that she was saying she don't trust Tariq or Tasha and that they should walk away from the case but because of the publicity and everything Davis is still sticking with it plus he kind of believes Tasha a little bit from what I'm seeing but we see now like I said in the last video that the reason Tasha wanted to get that morning after pill is so that she could try to get a friend and we see that she end up meeting her little pound cake buddy but uh inside a prison and she's saying hey i see you know how to move in here but old girl said yes yeah, so do you basically because tasha was able to get the morning after pill inside prison as well as a phone she may even know that so she like okay this girl got connections too she know how to move too so they may form a friendship which is good thinking on Tasha's side because her by herself not affiliated with no gang not really being a fighter and little she needed some help needed some connections so we'll see if that'll work with her by getting that morning after pill basically trying to buy a friend and then we see quickly an image of Tariq throwing money in the bag stacks so it looked like he may be getting more money and coming close because we know he was trying to raise money for Tasha's uh, lawyer maybe he found another way or maybe he back selling dope with Braden which is a whole nother subject that I gotta get into nevertheless we see Tariq saying no he need more money to help his mom while he was in the dorm room to somebody now we don't know who he was talking to we see he got a lot of money he putting in the bag what is he trying to do what is he trying to say and i'm surprised ain't nobody tried to rob him in the dorm room because in school people be struggling and that's an easy come up nevertheless we see mary j aka monet talking to diana and she's saying anyone close to Tariq ends up dead or locked up so we see that she finally learning about Tariq which I don't know why she don't know about him in the first place since she in New York and this daddy is dead and it's been all over the news but nevertheless she's starting to learn more information I'm assuming because she had the little Hispanic cop she told him hey you want to help me find out what you can about Tariq St. Patrick. So maybe he came with a little more information about what's going on with Tariq. And then we see that Kane is beating up some dude. And it seems that his brutal nature is not just some random type thing. We see that he don't have a problem putting foot to ass whenever it's called on. And we'll see what that leads to. Is he going to be something like a uh, Kanan or is he going to be like Dre or is he a new type of uh, thug that we going to be introduced to? We'll see. But nevertheless, he beat dude. We see that Monet is getting out of bed with the Tejada dude. So how is he in bed with her? Is that a conjugal visit? 
and while they was in bed i'm thinking she must have had a conjugal visit i don't think he get, got out of jail he must have some type of way where some type of pool where she's able to go ahead and catch a little bit of that d nevertheless when she got out of bed he said that he he said he didn't like the way she been running things and it ain't been working right so we don't know exactly what she's doing in the business and how she running things. She got a house. She driving a Porsche SUV. She dressed nice, taking care of everybody. She probably is still running some type of his organization or something. And for whatever reason, he don't like what's going on. Now, we haven't seen any drama or any heat from the Tejada's family yet. But I'm guessing maybe we may see something in episode three and it may show us a little more light into why he pissed and maybe he found out that she's over there with the police you know stroking his nightstick if you know what i mean and he may not like that he may not approve of that next thing you know a bunch of images fly past on the trailer that's kind of hard to pick out what they may all entail other than just little scenes of what the next episode gonna be and then the last thing we see is monet come in a room and say y'all got 10 seconds to tell me what the fork is going on and she talking to Tariq Kane and Diana so maybe they have worked together and tried to form some type of partnership working on maybe Tariq trying to get in with them to make some more money he didn't already kind of befriended Kane a little bit with his little half speech when Kane pulled him over out the side of the car about how he knew that little Frankie was a snitch he already been kind of making little googly eyes with dirty Diana and she is fine and she liked Tariq too so maybe he been working both of them in a way so that he can get in to their business and try to make more money they did say foreshadow in the beginning of the trailer he need to make more money now we see him with diana and kane and then monet pissed that they all together with him because she pretty much don't want them messing with him because everybody end up dead or in jail she don't want her kids dead or in jail he's he's hot he a hot boy okay he don't really know what he doing that's why everybody end up dead or in jail and they gonna probably come with some half cockamamie uh little plan that he came up with to get money and they probably like well we can all get money it sound great and because they gonna be all for it she probably will buy into it but she knows that they probably shouldn't and the truth is they don't need to do nothing with him they got money they straight whatever they been doing they could keep doing why well, try to do something new with this boy so we'll see what plan he got i bet you he trying to draw them in so that he can get money for tasha and he kind of got on a little bit of mary J side monet when he needed that morning after pill she thought okay maybe he is a regular dude maybe this that or the other but we'll see what's going on with this plan i think that she don't want nothing to do with tyreek they already from what tahada said to her he don't like the way things is being ran and you bringing tyreek into the mix is not gonna help the situation but we're gonna see how it turns out in episode three those are my predictions based off of the trailer my breakdown i'm interested in y'all comments let me know what you think man also i want y'all to remember i appreciate each and every one of you i appreciate your support your comments don't forget to hit that like if you're new to the channel subscribe and also check out these videos below thanks for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one peace